What's up, y'all? It's your boy Jay with the playback with another video, and today we're gonna try to break down that new trailer for All American Season Three. And I know some of y'all been waiting on this for a very long time, cause I have too. All right, y'all, let's get it. So why'd you abandon Beverly? I ain't abandoned nobody. My family, my community, they need me. So it starts off with Spencer being interviewed by a news reporter and she asked him why did he leave Beverly Hills to go back to Crenshaw. He said technically he's not really leaving, he just really going back home with his peoples. Spencer had done a whole lot for the community. A lot of people would just move up in life and forgot where they came from. This field is our home. That's why we're going to clean it up. Do we look like garbage men to you? We signed up to play football. You signed up to do what I said. Then it comes to this one dude fussing with Coach Billy. Y'all know Coach Billy do not play when it comes to these players. And then I'm guessing he's going to be that one type of competition dude. There's always that one dude on the same team as someone that's always trying to put up the competition and become the best player. So I'm guessing we're going to see more of him trying to be the best player on the team and be the one to stand out. Except for the color of your jersey, you turned your back on me. So now the other players over there getting mad because he want to leave and go back to Crenshaw, which they really shouldn't be getting mad because he's a grown man. He can do whatever he wants. Basically, he's the best one on the team, really. They just don't want to admit it. That's why they're getting mad that he leaving. But that being said, y'all know how them teammates be trying to throw Spencer all that shade. Even at first, when he first got on their team, he wasn't even messing with them. I'll raise the GPA requirement for athletic participation this year. Good luck scraping your team together. And this dude right here, I don't really know his character from last time. I don't I don't know if I really had seen him last time. But anyways, he goes ahead and tells Coach Billy that the grade point average for any of the ads, he had to be a lot higher. And he says, good luck getting your team together. So I'm guessing most people on the team are failing because of the way that he looked after that. Because if he wasn't really concerned about the players having good grades, he wouldn't have made that face. So I'm guessing somebody's going to be failing and not going to be on the team. I lied to you. You have to promise not to tell anyone. It's like the biggest summer secret ever. And then we got the two dang on girlfriends, Joel and girlfriend, and then special girlfriend, which used to be Ash's girlfriend, but he had took her. But anyway, so they plotting on some secret. I kind of really don't like Jordan's girlfriend off the fact that she did lie to that man and had that man thinking that he was going to have a baby by her. It's going to blow up in everyone's faces. So then right here, I guess that secret had got out that uh, Jordan and the dang going baby mama been talking about. So Jordan goes ahead and punched the dog shit out Spencer and they get into a fight in the bar. Because y'all mama Spencer did have that little job. What do we have to lose? Our boyfriends? Let's do it anyway. Yeah. So then I guess that their girlfriends is going to be cool. I don't know if they're going to be cool after they get done fighting, but... Your boy Asher got a lot going on. Ashley like his character. I kind of like his background. So what y'all thinking that's for Ash? Y'all think he going to get his act together? is my future. Everything you on season two for last episode, they left us with a cliffhanger making it seem like he ain't gonna play ball no more. But as y'all see, he's right back here playing. So hopefully he don't get injured again because it's always the real good players that be getting injured. So hopefully he don't get injured again this season. Hopefully he don't get shot again. Earned up until this point, we had to fight for and I like how this show does good with the Black Lives Matter movement. Y'all already saw that one scene at the donut shop when the lady was racially profiling them. I like how shows touching that Black Lives Matter stuff. And we keep winning. That ain't gonna change as long as we stay true to who we are. So either this is Coop's girlfriend or this is Olivia hugging. I think it is Olivia. But anyways, what y'all think next for Olivia? Olivia has her own background story. She's a recovering addict from drugs. I like how she actually had a recovery because she's a very pretty girl. And she got her own podcast going on. What y'all think next for her? She looks kind of sad right here, though. And your boy Coop. What y'all think next for your boy Coop? Coop got the whole rapping stuff going on over getting people killed. Anyways, with that being said, she just had to get out that whole mess about the whole Tyrone thing and Tyrone getting killed. So hopefully she can finally stay out the dang on the streets now and listen to Spencer because Spencer been risking his life trying to save this damn girl. So hopefully she can get her act together and stay out the damn streets. Now that Tyrone's sister came back and talked to him. So apparently she used to be part of the streets, but then she left because in that conversation, Priest actually tells her that she she used to be part of that life and she left that life alone. So I'm guessing she used to be a thug. Y'all think she might come after Coop, Tyrone's sister? I don't really know her name like that, really. I would love to wish everyone a happy new year. Hopefully 2021 could go better for everybody. And I wish nothing to y'all but peace and love. With that being said, thank y'all for watching this video. Y'all go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And y'all go ahead and give me any other ideas for any other TV shows y'all want me to break down. All right, y'all, peace.